Okay, hopefully, hopefully that works. Let's see what this just did. Okay, all right. Son of a bitch. Fucking YouTube and it's bullshit. All right. Can't let people use use events anymore. That wouldn't be right. How the fuck do I link this? <laughs> I hate you so much, YouTube. Oh, I hate you so much. Is that actually working? Yes. Can't let people use use events anymore. Okay. Let's see if this will work. Sorry, everybody, it's taking a minute. There we go. I think I think we should be good now. Hopefully. Hopefully it works. Can you fucking hear me? They won't let you do events anymore. They've taken away the ability to do event planning. Just all of a sudden decided, fuck it. You have to use a new system now, which is just awful. And uh, nobody likes. And fuck you. We'll wait a few minutes, let people catch up. <sighs> Always got to tinker with shit that works. Yeah, no, great. Thanks for sharing all this shit. I don't care about YouTube. Oh, here's all these fancy little things. I can't... can't see my goddamn... Where's the chat? There's the chat. Muted. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not that old. All right? The pneumonia from uh, China hasn't come and taken my life just yet. Fantastic. Oh, welcome to a fancy member. See, I had a little opening song. I can't even... Let's do the opening song. And then we'll just pretend that this technical difficulty never happened. I don't know. We'll just play pretend that it didn't happen. I'm going to mute myself. Play some thumping, bumping beats. I know you kids, I know you Zoomers like that hip-hop music. Here's one coming from the Warburton community members. It's a real bang.
game. Okay. Here we go. The beautiful music's out of the way. No, actually, chat. I did leave it as unlisted. That just means some pa fucking faggot decided to share it. So there you go. They had to be an asshole and share the members only stream. Toy Ove. Well, you know, I can I can get around it by creating private links for the next one. But this will work for now. I can take off that little picture there. There we go. Violating the sanctity of members only. What are you doing? You don't even have a jacket. You see those fine gentlemen? You see how nice they look? Now welcome here. You need to get get gone. All right. <laughs> We're building a wall. You need to step the fuck over it. Treason. That's right, chat. It's absolutely treason. I don't know why they get live events work so well. It was fine. You could plan it ahead of time, set everything up, didn't have to fuck around with anything. For some reason, now today, it just doesn't work. They had a little warning up inside the uh, back end saying that it would be ended at the very end of December of last year, but then they didn't do it. So I thought, oh, maybe, maybe common sense prevailed. Maybe YouTube isn't going to go completely retarded. They're going to allow people to keep using live events because they enjoy it. But nope, everything has to be mobile. Twitter had to redesign itself to make it mobile-centric, and now YouTube has decided to make their streaming platform mobile-centric. You need to be able to see everything on one stream, because apparently people don't use desktops anymore. Oh boy, I guess I'm so old. Nobody uses a desktop. It's all tablets and fucking phones these days. Oh, how convenient. I wonder if it's the same team of three women that butchered Twitter that's made this. Potentially. I think maybe they might have had a hand in it. Uh, jackets are superior to suits. That is correct, Chimera. That is correct. Ah, yes, welcome to the January member stream. It's the one perk that I had to choose. You know, when they set this up and they let people join your channel, you have to choose a perk. And I've went over the story now twice, and I'll do it once more to explain why it's just dumb, but you need to choose a perk. And at first I thought, great, I can make dancing pudding emoticons. But then there's legalese, which is like four or five paragraphs long, saying if you take anything, any image uh, that could be or potentially is copyrighted, you're going to get struck down for it. Upwards of even having your channel deleted. And I thought, okay, well, whatever. I could just make my own. I could pull out my little Asian slave from her corn cob cage and make her draw my own stuff. And then what ends up happening with that? Well... Markiplier holds a fucking stream, has his own emoticons, has his own little little dancing puddings, his version of it, and like 30 or 40 people get banned from chat for using them for no fucking reason whatsoever. And YouTube decides that it's not just good enough to take away, uh, you know, uh, to, to ban them from the stream. They shut down their YouTube accounts, and then they close their Gmail accounts. So everything, if you remember way back when Jordan Peterson had all his shit just ripped down, had to go on Twitter and social media and have uh, journalists write articles about it to get his uh, sweet, sweet Twitter, or a uh, sweet, sweet YouTube Gmail account back. So it's a lot of hassle. And you know what's the easiest perk to do? Just a fucking member stream. I know it's not the greatest thing on earth, but we do have topics to talk about. I asked people what they wanted to talk about. I even said, just suggest topics you're interested in discussing so uh, there you go we're going to discuss them we're going to talk about shit i wouldn't normally talk about and in fact i'll give you the reason why uh, there are a lot of retarded fucks on the internet and the thing that annoys me probably more than anything just ever are assholes that try to use me as a cudgel or get me involved in their own little shit fits so when you see different communities and these implosions happening usually i'd love to talk about it but then I always get one or two fucking retards that show up. And like, Jim, Jim, you need to talk about this, Jim. Jim, Jim, did you hear this, Jim? And then I have no interest. It kills the interest. It's not fun it, or organic for me, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. I think a classic example of that would be JF. You know, JF had some funny, you know, some kind of funny, goofy stuff about him. It'd be fun to make some jokes. There's video material there, really, if you want to dig. I mean, who are we kidding? But holy fuck, they would not let up on it. 
You need to make a video on J. You need to talk about JF. No interest. But because this is a special, super special member stream, we're going to talk about the things you want to talk about. Yes, Metacores, Lunacorn Archives, we will talk about Onion Boy. And we'll talk about Boogie and all the other shit. But generally the sort of stuff that I wouldn't want to talk about. But we'll talk about it. Because why not? All right, let's see. We've got a list. We'll go down the list. Let's start with the first suggestion, the first one under, what do you want to talk about from Oz Khan? Talk about Onion Boy versus Hanson. This is the best timeline ever. All right, I've said it repeatedly. My, uh, my opinion on Onision has always been the same. I think it's a lot of it is a gimmick. I think he plays a lot of it up to get money. I've seen him talk. I've seen him talk when he when it's not Onision, but him. And a lot of the shit he does is played up for views and clicks. Before the controversy started, his channel was going into a fucking death spiral. 20,000, 30,000 views a video. If he was lucky, he was getting that. That's it. That's That's the death spiral. Every content creator goes through it. I don't care how talented you are, how good your shit is. You've got a fucking clock ticking above your head. And Onision, you know, it was uh, five minutes to midnight. All right, he was five minutes to midnight. Those views were just dissipating. And all of a sudden, here comes Chris Hansen. And now what is he doing? Oh, he's doing a, a you know, quote-unquote emotional breakdown video. And he's doing it every fucking day and raking in 100,000 to 400,000 views. What a great way to revive your channel. So just just on principle alone, I don't, you know, when I look at him, I just think it's a, a hustler. It's a dude out there making money. He knows how to fuck with people and he knows how to make money. And, uh, you know, I'll get into the serious stuff. Obviously, there's more related to this. But can I just say how many people are fucking retards and that it blows my fucking mind how dumb some people on the Internet are? If a guy is filming himself for two minutes with his shirt off pouring kombucha on himself and crying, he's fucking with you. But the amount of fucking soccer moms and fat ass tumbler at blue haired dykes that were out there trying to say that this was real, that oh my god, Onision has finally lost it, is fucking ridiculous. Wake the fuck up. It's a bit. The majority of it's a bit. Now of course that gets complicated once we have Mr. Hansen show up. So, from my understanding, from the bits and pieces that I've watched, and I didn't watch a lot of it because it bored the fuck out of me. But we had ex-girlfriends showing up and a lot of allegations of him flying girls out over state lines or going over state lines to places with uh, ages of consent that were younger than legally would be possible where he was or where they were at the time. Allegations from ex-girlfriends or wives or whatever that he was abusive, uh, verbally I don't know if they ever said physically, but basically he was a dick and he was an asshole and uh, he did all these terrible things. So here, here comes Chris Hansen. <clears throat> now Hansen had just started dipping his toe into this internet shit. He went from a respectable TV host to filing for bankruptcy and losing his house. And now he's talking about internet shit. Okay, fine. It's entertaining. It's Chris Hansen. Why wouldn't you be entertained by Chris Hansen? We're going to go from to catch a predator to catch a YouTuber. That's... That's a transition we've made. So Hansen starts talking about real basic bitch shit. First, it's the Blade stuff, because right at the moment, that was kind of a big thing. Uh, so he talked about Blade and the rape RV incident, and then he started interviewing people within the Ice Poseidon community. Maybe there's something there. So you had uh, Kareen was one of them. You had uh, him talking about Ice Poseidon for one or two streams. And, you know, gaining some momentum, somewhat interesting, brought a few... A side note people on some minor drama stuff and then he hit on Onision and oh boy was Onision a fucking payday for Hansen because now Hansen himself you know this has been gangbusters business wise for both Onision and Chris Hansen Chris Hansen and his original channel again 20,000 maybe lucky if he got 20,000 views go look at Hansen's channel now half a million views Half a million views of video. He could put up a video every day and hit half a million views. Onision, 20,000 views. Now he's putting up videos that are 100 to 300,000 views. These two guys are making money off of this. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Chris Hansen knows that Onision is fucking around a lot of the time. But nonetheless, 
you have these girls coming on with their serious, or serious allegations. Oh my god, he, he put a dog collar on me and shit in my mouth. Or whatever fucking kinky weird shit they're into. He kept me as his sex slave. All this Onision drama. So Hanson, of course, uh, decides to go on a road trip. I do like the fact that Hanson actually said, Boy, this Onision guy's really paranoid. As he's standing outside his house with a film crew. I'd be paranoid too. If some asshole from the internet showed up with fucking six cameras. And had been traveling from hotel to hotel to find me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, yeah, that'd be a little bit weird. I also know that Onision and Mr. Repsion have their uh, their little interactions. I've seen that going back and forth. First off, I don't think Repsion, anything he's done in his videos, is out of bounds. I think he just talked about internet shit like the majority of people talk about internet shit. But but where are we now? Well, Chris Hansen showing up at Onision's house. His fucking kids falling out a window. Uh, girls are coming forward every week. He's trying to bring people to court. Uh, he filed... Uh, and represented himself against Repsion and Chris Hansen, trying to get a protective order. Brilliant. It's not a, he's trying to get, a, like, oh, are they going to come and beat me? Mr. Repsion's going to hold me down and try to sell me his used socks? What am I going to do? Ridiculous shit. I saw Repsion had a video he put out, I think, earlier today, maybe yesterday. I don't have a specific hardcore timeline nailed down with these fucking people. But talking about the court. Um, I also believe that uh, the protective order in regards to Repsion was just Repsion himself in relation to Onision. But the difference is with the Chris Hansen one, he included his kids. He wanted that double whammy, like, stay the fuck away from my children. <sighs> so, yeah, obviously. Obviously it's a big thing. Obviously there's shit to talk about. Of course people are going to make a fuck ton of videos about it. You're going to hear about it on a bunch of streams. But I just, it doesn't interest me. And it doesn't interest me because for the past six months, I've had people bring up Onision. And it just, it to me, it's boring. I mean, I like sitting back and watching a fucking trash fire, but I, I don't feel any need to really jump in and participate on this one. I am more of a, a, a casual observer like the rest of you. I should, Do you want to? I mean, I can pull up the video of Chris Hansen. I think he has it up on his channel of Chris Hansen showing up at Onision's house. Uh, and, and I think they even have the F, or FBI, Jesus, the police phone call between uh, Onision and his local department when Chris Hansen shows up. Now, there was leaked audio from uh, Onision, I think his Discord server, where he's claiming that Chris Hansen said more things than their cameras recorded making threats at his door, but they didn't show that when they edited together the video for his channel. And there's also some other stuff we need to talk about in regards to Chris Hansen and his producer. So I, But hey, this is a members-only chat, chat. So you've got to tell me what you want. Do you want to start? Should we, as we delve into the Onision information, do, should, we, should we start with the Chris Hansen showing up at his house and listen to the uh, phone call, the police phone call? And I think I can track down some of the Discord leaks. I think they might be in the Repsion video. Oh, I, may, I better make sure I'm on live chat. Otherwise, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, yes, Brandon, I do agree with you. Um, I, again, the Onision stuff does not feel 100% organic to me either. No, it doesn't. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't know. Make the link not public. Oh, is that what I fucked up? That might have been what I fucked up. Oh, I am a stupid little boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was Jim's fuck up. All right, that's where I screwed up. Percent organic to me either. Oh, 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 and I, I got all sassy about shit too. Okay, let's see if that does it. There we go. All right, fixed. Fixed, ch chatter. Oh, boy, Boomer Jim did fuck up. When I put up the link on the community tab, I didn't. I didn't put it as a community thing. They, You have to select it from a drop-down menu, and I wasn't even paying attention. Shameful. Oh, shameful.
All right. Let's uh let's let's pull up the pants and stuff. Let's 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 look at some of this retarded shit. Oh, what is the what is the name of Hansen's new channel? Is it Have a Seat? That's the new one, right? Have a Seat with Chris Hansen. All right, let's let's talk about growth uh, when it comes to this shit. I'm gonna pull up Social Blade. We're gonna look at Hansen's channel. Uh, yeah, great. I uh, think Social Blade. I I really needed to fucking hear that. All right. Okay, it should it should load it? In fact, I think they finally fixed it, so you get more daily shit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you the kind of business this is doing for Chris Hansen right now. All right, should pop up on Windows Capture. Uh, these are the stats from Hansen's channel. Just from This is from Onision. All right, uh, if you compare this to what it used to be like, you get a very good idea of how well this is doing for him. I mean, thousands, thousands a day. You know, 15,000 was the highest. This is a two-week span. In two weeks... So he's he's getting 50,000 subscribers a week because of Onision and view count wise 2 and a half million views a week. So once Hansen really started to kind of focus in on Onision, um, it has been gangbusters for Hansen's channel. I'm not saying it's a bad strategy, but 50,000 new subscribers, 2 and a half million views, it's done very well. And if you go to look at his channel itself, which I think should show up yeah, 400,000 views, 500,000 views, 400,000 views, 1.2 million views. Like this, this is the this is the the golden goose. This is a goose that lays the golden egg for uh, for Mr. Hansen. This is where he's making those big boy dollars for Mr. Hansen. Uh, let's see. We'll we'll watch uh, some clips of this. I want to be careful because uh, well well I'll get into why I want to be careful when it comes to Chris Hansen. But alright. Mind what you're recording. Hi, uh, there's a person who's been stalking me online and they just showed up to my house. Okay, and they're outside now? Yes, they're knocking on my door. Okay. And do you know if they have any weapons? They have a bunch of camera people, like they're YouTube, they're YouTube stalkers. As you watch this, it's important to remember that all the camera crews, sound guys, and attorney Mike Moore stayed on the street when I went up to knock on Frederick Jackson or Nee. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pause it there, but that's to give you an idea. I, I just want you to see uh, the amount of views he's getting, the amount of subscribers he's getting. It's really blown his fucking channel up. And in fact, you know, even if we went, let's go look at Onision. Uh oh, what? Oh, I think we should be going fine. Let's go look at Onision, and we'll take a look at uh, his his numbers, his uh, uh, statistics when it comes to this shit. Should be fine. I don't know why it's giving me a warning. Why is it giving me a warning? Has Chris Hansen already? <laughs> has he already reached out to grab me? God, I hate this new system. I hate this new fucking system. Okay. Uh, Onision. Let's go take a look. I think it's... He's got multiple channels, too, so it's a pain in the ass to find the right one. Okay, so this should be Onision's channel. And again, you can see with the amount of videos, I mean, come on. Every single one of them, you've got that classic fucking uh, gotcha kind of uh, uh, thumbnail with the hand over the face. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Oh, how will I survive this? Watch my Minecraft video, but 100,000 views, 200,000 views, 300,000 views. Both of these guys, <clears throat> even with the uh, downvotes that Onision is getting, Still getting a ton of fucking attention. So, you know, in, in relation to this, I mean, it's good business for the both of them. I don't know in regards to the court case if you'd call it good business or not. In fact, let me pull up a picture of Onision and his fancy Reebok sneakers. <laughs> his fancy fucking Reebok sneakers as he's, uh, as he's walking around the courtroom. There should be, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Uh, here was uh, Onision in court today. Oh, let me let me try to readjust that so I can get the full picture for you guys. There you go. If you're wondering which one he is, um, he's the one that's the shortest. <laughs> I believe that's Repsion on the far left. 
And that's Onision, who, uh, you know, just eyeballing it compared to the door frame, I think is about four foot three inches. He maybe should have worn heels when he went to court. He's so. I thought Repsion was a short dude. Like, I was always like, okay, Repsion's kind of a smaller guy. Repsion. Onision would have to stand on a stool to look in Repsion's eyes. Like, that's how short he is. <laughs> he shows up in a suit and Reeboks. Uh, it's a hell of a, a hell of a look. But from what I understand, the court the court case did not go so well for him today. Did not uh, did not do very well. At least he's got a fancy suit on. He's one upping Sargon in that regards. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Adidas. Oh, well, fine. Uh, how terrible of me to get the the shoe type wrong. As somebody said they were Predators, Adidas, Reeboks, whatever they are. They're fucking sneakers. He's wearing his little big boy suit, and fucking sneakers. So and that, that's you've got this whole thing going on with Hanson. You've got this whole thing going on with Onision. At the same time, though, there's a lot of weird underhanded shit going on with uh, uh, Chris Hansen and his producer. Now, I've watched a bunch of videos in regards to this, and I think I have a basic idea of what's going on. Um, I think it originates with uh, basically fans of the To Catch a Predator subreddit, or at least a fan group dedicated to the show. Um, they would put up their own compilations. They'd put up clips of the show. Um, they're very supportive of Chris. And then, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% certain why this particular producer is having such an issue with the community. Uh, but, you know, Hansen and the producer start filing copyright claims. They start taking down channels. Uh, they start threatening people. And then they kind of pulled a boogie. You know, he threatened a bunch of people and then said he was hacked. And then his apology when he said, oh, I was hacked. That wasn't me on Twitter threatening everybody. Um he, he used the same kind of language and weird weird phrases that the hacker would use. Um, they're accused, uh, the producer, I should say, is accused of doxing people, of going after critics of the show. So th there's there's some weird shit going on with Hanson Productions. You know, and I know Chris is having money issues. I know he's got, uh, uh, what is it, his condo or his mansion, wherever the fuck it is he's getting evicted from. He's going through divorce. He, he's filing for maybe bankruptcy. So what lands in his lap? Well, Onision. And, you know, everybody's loving it. Oh, my God, they're all eating it up. But at the same time, there's weird shit going on in uh, the Hanson community, I guess, of people being attacked by uh, the producer that works on the show. You know, I've watched a couple of videos, and I can't attest to how honest these are or how true they are or how factual they are because I'm not a part of this fucking community. Uh, but these guys are claiming that, you know, they're getting doxxed, that their shit's getting flagged down illegally. Uh, all because this producer doesn't like them, and they're claiming that he runs scams. You know that he's building. He he runs a service to build your own website where he, he basically stole it from somebody else. So there are layers, I guess. You know when you want to call it Onion Boy, well this entire fucking story would be a big onion. There are multiple layers to it. You've got Onision with all his shit going on in regards to uh, Repsion and to Hanson. You've got Hanson and all his shit going on in regards to his personal finances. And, of course, uh, <laughs> going after people, I guess, in his community. It's just one giant clusterfuck. So, I mean, yeah, I find it interesting. I, It is interesting. It is entertaining. But um, I have no interest in particularly covering it because, yeah, for like six months, for a year, I had people shoving it down my throat. I, I can't remember her name. There's one person in particular that's like, if you want to cure cancer, eat dandelions. I don't want, I, I can't remember what her fucking name is. But she did like a bajillion videos on this guy and hated him. And, uh, you know, her, her fan uh, fans would constantly be throwing Onision's name at me. So it's, it's just one of those things that I'm just, I don't really have a huge interest in it. I mean, I'm sure we'll all see a, a fucking amazing conclusion to the Onision saga. Uh, but what that is, I, I could not tell you. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm reading chat here. I'm reading members chat. Ah, uh, let's see. Crossface your waifu. Jim, did you see Sargon go with Dankula to Applebee's in the USA? Yeah, I think that's like, eight, was that four months ago? Five? I haven't really paid attention to Sargon or the skeptics after UKIP. I just, same with like Tonka. Don't, don't care. Like I got, I got my punchline out of those and I'm satisfied. Uh, Metacore, Ludicorn Archives. Pull up some of Onision's BDSM tweets, which he posted while his brain-damaged daughter was in intensive care. Top Coomer. 
his daughter falls out of a window. He's trying to get laid. Uh, from Las Tejos, Scooby331. Onision thinks he is so important that he needs to wear one. Wear one. I guess a suit, do you mean? Well, you should show up in a suit if you go to court. I mean, Jesus Christ. You're going to look ridiculous if you don't. Uh, here's another one. Okay, Karuna. Talk about Nick Fuentes and Deep Throat and Catboy. Yeah, that's another one I've seen. Uh, there are particular groups that are really, and I'm not saying this is you, but there are particular groups that are really pushing it. Jim, you need to address this. I don't have to address shit. Yeah, I, I had a people uh, bring it up on stream a couple of times, so I went and watched the Catboy date thing. <laughs> what? I don't know what Nick was thinking. How are you going to make fun of TPUSA and then go on a, a Catboy date? And then I saw the dude sucking on a horse dildo. And it filled me with mirth. I laughed. Uh, you know, I enjoyed watching the battle with TPUSA, but that's kind of it. Uh, you know, <laughs> that Catboy stuff. Man, they're hammering him hard. Ooh. They are hammering his ass over that one. Boomer Jim and his bulletproof vest. Do I need to buy a bulletproof vest? I think these members-only jackets, made with the highest quality from the 1980s, will protect us from everything, even Corona Chan. Uh, my chat is behind it. could be. You can thank YouTube for its bullshit. Uh, it's new streaming service. This, this back end is just a fucking nightmare. Uh, an unusable, shitty fucking nightmare. It gives you really basic shit, and that's it. And you're lucky if it actually works at all. Uh, somebody say, uh, Honkamania, Nick blocked me for laughing about the cat boy. You know, I somebody messaged uh, me on Twitter and said they got they got blocked, I think, because they said he looked like a Pokemon. I don't know if that's true or not, but what Pokemon was it? Why would you block somebody for saying you look like a Pokemon? I don't I don't know. Uh Hawkamania. Nick's ego is his own enemy. Well, he's getting he, you know he's getting shit kicked right now. Uh, TPUSA and Gorka and all of those fuckers worked really fucking hard to deplatform his ass. I mean they worked really, really fucking hard to do it. I know his YouTube channel got hit with the demonetization. I don't know if they, they pulled it completely or if they're thinking of just banning him outright, uh, but he still pulls in a pretty sizable fucking audience on DLive. I mean, he's one of those I think that will be fine if he moves over to DLive. He'll do just all, he'll do all right. Um, I know Ralph is still doing streaming at DLive. I don't, whatever happened to PewDiePie? Wasn't that the big deal with DLive and the uh, Lemon Emperor that PewDiePie was going to do exclusive streaming on uh, DLive and all these people were going to come in and watch and they're going to make all this fucking money. It was going to be gangbusters. Is that deal null and void now that they sold controlling interest to another party? I mean, I know they... Uh, what, what was the group that they sold to? This happened like three weeks ago, four weeks ago? It's the guys that own the shittiest form of cryptocurrency. I know somebody in chat has to remember. I, I guess I'll have to wait for chat to catch up. <laughs> oh, that's going to... Justin... Is it Justin Sun? Justin Sun, what was the name of the fucking cryptocurrency? I can't, I can't remember. Okay, well, I think you get what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but yeah, so maybe once ownership changed hands or Sun got a controlling interest, maybe the PewDiePie deal fell, fell through. I don't know. Um... I always found it weird when you would look on DLive, you'd see that it would say, oh, you know, 3,000 people in this category, uh, 2,000 in this category, and then when you would when you would order them, you wouldn't see that. It wouldn't add up properly. And then I found out, oh, they separate it by language and region, and that's why the numbers aren't adding up. So, I mean, I guess they have a lot of Turkish people that use it because they, they pull in a lot of that shit. And I know some people over on DLive make a lot of fucking money, and some people pull in uh, a lot of viewers. But, you know, after the whole fucking situation with uh the rape rv uh and getting uh, <laughs> getting uh taken off the air i just have no interest i'm waiting for bit shoot i really really am waiting for bit shoot to get their streaming capabilities up i think it'll be great um you know how well will it work i think it'll work okay i know they've tested it and tested it for at least since july because i had people sending me links showing me that alex jones was streaming there now i don't know if they had the peer-to-peer -peer portion of that uh you know, enabled at that point, but I know streaming does work on BitChute. I think they just need the infrastructure and they need to slowly roll it out. Uh, but if I could stream on BitChute, fuck, I'd be over there streaming. And then we could talk about the fun shit. 
Oh, then we could make the 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 best of jokes <laughs> and play the best of clips. Oh, we could do a live leak special of the funniest suicides <laughs> streamed on BitChute. Oh, I have I the my the plans the plans I have for what I want to do on BitChute. <laughs> World's funniest suicide stream exclusively on BitChute. Uh, somebody saying no sound. Did the sound die out? God damn it. Uh, you're going to have to refresh if uh, things go shit on you. I, I can't attest to the quality of this particular stream. I'm sorry, guys. I, I will try to check. Let me double check to make sure it's working. I'm not used to doing it this way. It's a different setup. <laughs> World's funniest suicide stream. Okay. No, it seems to be working fine. All right. I'm not sure why chat's so far behind. Is there a way to refresh this? I'm scared to hit anything on this fucking crappy layout because I'm almost guaranteed to fuck something up. Uh, let me pop chat out and see if that works. Oh, maybe it's because it was sticking on that. Sound is good. Okay, we're fine. Uh, somebody in chat asked, any updates on the Wu flu? I'm fascinated by that. Listen, I, I'm what you'd call a happening faggot. I can't, I can't help myself. When, when some big event happens in the news, I have to be there. I have to enjoy it. Um, you know, with the Wu flu, you can't look at the reaction of the Chinese government and think that this is something small and not dangerous. It, there, there's just too much going on. You've got, uh, you want updates? Fine. Australia, Japan, the UK, and the US are now pulling people out. Uh, you've got countries like, I think, Malaysia saying they're going to start sending people back. The Philippines are sending people back. Uh, the state of Virginia is sending people back. Now, you've got them officially announcing, oh boy, isn't it great when it's official, uh, that asymptomatic people, ba uh, literal typhoid marys. And typhoid marys are terrifying because they don't show the symptom, but they still get you sick. And what, what does the mayor of Wuhan, what does the Chinese government come out and say just really this morning? Oh, well, there are 14 million, what, what is it? There are 14 million, or no, 11 million in the city of Wuhan, uh, but 5 million of them aren't here right now. They've left. They left before the quarantine went into effect. So, chat, imagine 5 million typhoid Marys dispersing across all of Asia and into the United States and Europe. So, that's going to be fun. Oh, and then you've got all the video, all the video of their uh, emergency hospitals. Holy shit. You know, you want to see this? Uh, I think you'll like this. So let, me, let me pull this up here. See if I can get this. Uh, they they have pictures up of what their uh, prefab built hospitals are going to look like. <laughs> it's it's bad. Um, okay, uh, here we go. Uh, Windows again. All right, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a second to catch up. Just I, I'm not even I don't even want to give it away. Just looking at this, these are the hospital rooms. <laughs> looking at this, what do you notice, chat? What are the first things that strike you about what you're looking at? I just want to see if you notice what I'm noticing when you look at these prefab built units. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that delay. I don't know how long that delay is. High quality? Yep, that's true. Very high quality. But specifically, what are you noticing? Oh, it looks like a jail cell? Well, here are the two things that really caught my attention, aside from what they look like. Uh, welded bars on the windows, and they lock from the outside. <laughs> There's literally a key in the lock on the door. So they put you in this little cube, this little sick shack, with fucking welded bars on the windows, and then they lock the reinforced doors to keep you in. That's your hospital room that they're building in Wuhan right now. <laughs> oh, it is like a vacation home. Uh, done for eight. No, this this is uh, actually higher tier or higher tier quality than Jade's room. Yeah, the bars on the window I think are really just a, a magnificent aesthetic touch. This when I see this, this says to me highest quality medical uh, care in the world. And that's the shit they're going to put people in. 
So yeah, I, I'd say the Wuhan situation's not going great. Oh, what was the news out of Toronto? Shit, you know what? I'll, I'll share a little bit more, and then we'll move on to the subjects you guys wanted to talk about. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, well, infants are already getting infected. I mean, there was a report of a two-year-old that had it. Now there's a nine-month-old that has it in Beijing. Uh, so even though, yeah, mostly it is adults that die, little kids are getting it. So that's never good. Uh, but here was one from Carly Weeks. Uh, I think you're going to love this. Canadians, prepare yourselves. Good news for all you Canadians. Uh, breaking news. Federal health officials say the Toronto man who has the coronavirus was symptomatic on the airplane last week when he was returning to Canada. Efforts are now underway to reach passengers who may have been in contact with him. So all the people on the plane with that Canadian guy flying into Toronto probably have the woo flu. So if you've got one guy in Toronto infected, at the very least, let's say, the five or six passengers directly around him, because he's symptomatic. Who knows how long they're going to take to go see a doctor. The guy in Seattle took four days. The chick in Chicago took two days. Not sure about the guy in California, or woman or man, whatever, in California. But there you go. So, Toronto, you've got a bunch of typhoid Marys as well walking about in the streets. Enjoy that as this exponentially grows. From, you know, 50 new ones in a day to 100 new ones in a day to 500 in a day to 1,000 in a day. You know, the Wuhan mayor was quoted as saying they expect a thousand new cases within the next 24 hours. That 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 growth curve is a straight J. It's just shooting straight to the moon. People see. Okay, I don't know if again this maybe is maybe this is a joke, but let's take a look. Oh, holy shit! It's actually real. Okay, well, uh, let's do some late breaking news. People in chat have been saying this, and well, how the fuck could you have technical diff? Here's, <laughs> did are they admitting this is a bullshit story then? Okay, hold on, let me. I'll pull up another article about it. Okay, is the Kobe Bryant thing real? Uh, TMZ put up an article twenty minutes ago. And now if you try to go to the article, this is what you get. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Try later. Uh, here's a local news report. Let's read this one instead. Okay, here we go. Kobe Bryant dies in California helicopter crash. Former NBA superstar Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash in California. Local 10 has confirmed. Five people were on board when the helicopter went down near Calabasas this morning. Ryan's wife, Vanessa, was reported not on the helicopter, according to TMZ. It is not known who else was on the helicopter during the flight or where it was headed. It's a goddamn woo flu got him. I mean, we heard that somebody, we heard that somebody in California had the woo flu. Maybe they were the fucking captain of that uh, helicopter. They got so sick, they passed out and took Kobe with them. I don't know. But Kobe Bryant, uh, at least is being reported, is dead. We'll find out more as TMZ uh, fixes their shitty article and gets it to work properly. Somebody saying, who is Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bryant is probably one of the best hockey players on earth. What the fuck? He's won the Stanley Cup 18 times. Come on. How do you not know about sports? What the fuck? All right, let's go back to our list of shit people wanted to talk about. Your buddy Brady. Talk about Boogie lying about being swatted. Let's talk about Boogie and his fucking bullshit. Sure. I can do that. I don't know what the fuck Boogie's problem is. I don't know what to tell you. Boogie seems to have some kind of a fucking issue where he puts his fat foot in his fat fucking mouth and makes shit worse for himself. Now, I was on a stream with Boogie and V, I think it was, on the kill stream maybe seven months ago. And I liked the Boogie that I, I heard on that stream. He was an asshole, and he was mean, and I liked that. But I think that's only part of his personality, and he seems to be pretty manipulative and deceptive. And this whole hacking thing is a real bad look. So Boogie's upset because he's getting shit on by everybody. Now, I don't know why he wants to in particular blame uh, Sam and Tolkien subreddit and Kiwi Farms. He, he, those two in particular he really is mad about. But the truth is everybody's been making fun of Boogie. I mean... Everybody, everybody has Boogie. Everybody makes Boogie jokes, right? And 
for I thought he was fine with it, but apparently not. It's driven to the point of acting out like an idiot. So he claimed he got hacked, and he claimed he got hacked by Mob Crush or some kind of a, a mobile app. And then from what I understand, the company that owns the mobile app said, our API does not allow us to do the things that he's claiming. It doesn't let us change your name or do this or do that or do, the, do all these other things. And honestly, if somebody was using an API, if they're using some kind of an app and it lets you hack into an account like that, do you think Twitter would not do something immediately and pull it? Especially for a blue checkmark account? Of course they would. So he claimed he got hacked. And then uh, he came back and said, oh, no, I haven't been hacked. But during this time, he put up a fucking 17-minute video just going on and on about... Uh, in fact, I think I still have the clip. I made. Did I make a clip of this? I did. I'm just going to put the clip up just to show you what he had to say about these awful Redditors and their bully, jerk, dick nickel behavior. <laughs> All these Redditors, they're making me sad. Now, let me see. Just one moment, Chad. I know it's on... No, it's on a timeline somewhere here. I'll pull it up. Oh, I'm terrible. Now, hopefully it's not that far down. If it is, then I'm just going to be lazy and will not play it. It's just small excerpts. I, 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 we're not going to watch a 17-minute <laughs> fucking boogie video. Okay, here it is. Let me, let me put it up. This is the gist. This is a summary of his 17-minute video about our... Is it Sam and Tolki? Am I saying that right? I, I don't know, but it's the subreddit that he doesn't like. And that's a known hate subreddit. Overall harassment website, actual internet bullies, that is a violation of Reddit policy. A violation of Reddit policy. Now, you know, one of the interesting things he mentioned in his uh, video, his diatribe against this particular subreddit was, uh, if I tried to put together the timeline as I understand it, he was claiming that he hated this subreddit because they're bully jerks. And he was going to teach them a lesson by super trolling them. And his super troll technique was to lie about being swatted. And he was only going to lie about being swatted to certain people to see who fed that subreddit information. He was playing a game of Blue's Clues, basically. <laughs> He's got to find an answer. Now, the problem is, he got super hacked. So... All that DMs, all those private conversations, we suddenly didn't have access to him. But now he's back on Twitter, right? So why wasn't the first thing he did after putting up a video saying this was his master plan? Why didn't he release his evidence showing that that's what he was doing? If you're telling me that you've set up this elaborate plan to feed false information to a group of people that you think are trolling you, you, you don't have any receipts for that? You don't have shit ready to go? There's no screen, screen gabs? You didn't screen record shit? You didn't film a video of yourself at the beginning of this saying, Hey everybody, it's Boogie and I'm going to troll motherfuckers. Here's today's date and hold up a newspaper so we know that there's some truth to it. So it looks like he lied about the swatting because they looked into it and there were no police reports about it. Uh, it looks like he lied about the hacking uh, because the mobile app or whatever service it was isn't able to do what he's claiming that it's able to do. And it's just another fucking thing. It's another thing in the cycle and you know, I, I, I know, I think it was Keemstar, like maybe a month or two ago, it was like, I'm just, I'm done with you. You know, I wanted to do videos on you, but you always came off as kind of pitiful, I'm done with you. I, I know Boogie reached out to, was it Newsweek or some reporter, uh, to cover this, to talk about the tragic tale of the bullying subreddit, <laughs> and them stealing his upvotes, and the reporter kind of shit on him in the article. Maybe, maybe because he doesn't like being harangued by fucking YouTubers, I don't know. But Boogie uh, would be another case of a, a channel in a death spiral. In fact, let's pull up Boogie's channel. Let's go take a look at Boogie's channel. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's go take a look at all those puppet videos. I'm sure, oh, all the hottest puppet videos on the internet. You guys will love What's that up? shit. Ladies and gentlemen, are you... Okay. All right. Uh, uh, we should be good here. There we are. All right. Here's, here's Boogie's channel. Look at his view counts. Uh, ignore the Boogie Exposed video. That was the one talking about the super hacking. Uh, so that's kind of out of the norm for everything. But 30,000 views, 50,000 views, 30,000 views. Here's one with 140,000, which was a live stream. So I guess that's a little bit different. But yeah, you know, on average, he's lucky if he... I, I mean, I'm not seeing a video that's breaking 200,000. They might be saying, well, why does that matter? Well, fuck, he has 4.4 million subscribers. 
4.4 million subscribers and he's doing 40,000 on a video. You know, he's he's doing puppet videos. He's trying to do a travel channel and then he gets in a car accident because he's fucking around on his phone. So I don't know. You know, I yeah, I have paid attention to the boogie stuff, but I'm, I don't know what opinion you want from me on this. It's just kind of sad. It's a death spiral of a YouTuber, and I don't know if he's doing it to try to retain attention. Maybe that's his plan. But um, it sure isn't working well. It sure is not working out well for Boogie. Stealing upvotes? Yes, he's stealing those upvotes. Why would the uh, okay? Why would a hacker delete tweets about him? Who knows? The story is very convoluted. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, somebody saying uh, Sean Turner didn't he have five million? I don't know what his original sub or sub count was. Uh, all I can tell you is what it is now. It's four point four million. Um, he should be pulling. My weather videos <laughs> are pulling in a hundred thousand. So Boogie, you should be able to pull in more than that on a channel with 4.4 million uh, subscribers. Again, there's it's a finite amount of time. It doesn't matter how entertaining you are or how flash in the pan you are. Eventually, it just ticks down. Onision, it ticked down. Boogie, it ticked down. You know, for a while, it looked like Repsion was ticking down, and now his channel is back up and doing well. So, I mean, you can turn it around, I guess. Maybe part of that is not faking a hack and blaming a mobile app and lying about being swatted. Tw it wasn't once, right? Didn't he? See, he said he was swatted multiple times. Was that what he claimed? I don't know, chat. It's just some people are fucking weird and just do weird shit, and then it spirals out of control and they can't help themselves. It's like one bad decision after the other, and it all, just it just adds. It's a it's, it gains momentum. It's a snowball effect that goes straight downhill. Can we trade Boogie's life for Kobe's? I don't know, Justin. You'll have to talk to God on that. Yet another content creator outlived by DSP. I don't know. Well, you know, I don't know how DS. Yeah, even DSP is now facing his own issues. I don't think DSP understands how bankruptcy works. I don't think he... I don't... I really don't think he understands. Like, I'm not even a... I just... I don't think he understands the reality of what he's getting into of what that's going to entail for his lifestyle and his possessions. Uh, but whatever. We'll see how it works out for DSP. Boy, man, people are just... I don't know. Yeah, DSP's in a rough spot. Spoonie's in a rough spot. Boogie's in a rough spot. Uh, Onision, his kids are falling out of windows. He's getting hunted by Chris Hansen. <laughs> it's just a lot of weird shit going on for people that have been around on YouTube for a long time. I don't know, January is just a special month, I guess. It's a special month of crazy shit happening nonstop. If DSP can't survive in the world, nobody can. Uh, now, every time you mention DSP, you've given me an excuse to play this. I masturbated in front of thousands of children. Thousands of children. <laughs> oh, that's just out of context, Jim. That's not even, that's not even fair. How could you do that? Oh, that's why. Oh, maybe that's why it's fucking it up. Okay, I, I think I'm getting the hang of what's going on with this stupid fucking stream thing. Uh, that's why Corona Chan is happening. Talk about Blade's rotting foot. I, I plan to address that in a video. It's one of the things I've been... I've been creating a chronology of Blade's uh, flesh rot from his diabetes. And his uh, overindulgence of alcohol. Ak, 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 snort. Oh, yeah, very true. <sighs> These fucking YouTubers, man. Yeah, somebody mentioned this. I don't know where this is. Can somebody tell me where this is? Uh, Yufio Answer said, Matt Jarbo in a recorded Discord call described how he got kicked out of Best Buy for filming the DVD section for his Blu-ray therapy. Does anybody know where I can find a copy of that recorded Discord call? Because we could listen to it. I'd love to hear how the uh, store employees threw his fat ass out of the video aisle. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't stay here anymore. You need to go.
yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see it. I don't know if, if is it up on YouTube? Is there a clip on Twitter of it? Did did he put it up himself? Maybe. No, oh, people talking about the royal wedding, or not the the royal, the former royal couple, Harry and Meghan. Oh, what a pussy whipped idiot that moron is. Enjoy selling nonstick pans and infomercials at 3 a.m. in Canada because you wanted to fuck that chick. Brilliant idea. Oh, and enjoy paying back two and a half million pounds for your fucking summer cottage. Oh, say it right, Wilford Brimley style. Diabetes. Uh, Dami Pesos has it? Is that what somebody said? Uh, I'll go take a look, see if it's up on Pesos' channel. Uh, if it is, we can listen to it. Uh, no, the most recent video up there is uh, What the Fuck is Wrong with St. Uger? Probably talking about his uh, lust for horse cock. That man loves a horse. Yeah, I, again, I don't know if that audio, where that would be, but oh my god, do I want to listen to it. In fact, should we do a check-in? Let's do a welfare check. And go take a look at Matt Jarbo's channel, see how healthy it is. How has his channel been going? Uh, well, I guess we can look at the main channel, and then it should link to his Three Buck Theater. Maybe it's over there. Maybe that's what we're looking for. The last Blu-ray theater, or uh, Blu-ray, whatever the fuck. Wow, he's uploading a ton of shit over here now. Lots of shit about like cape shit stuff and uh, Star Wars. Why is he talking about Star Wars so much? I, I'm not seeing anything about the audio, though. Maybe it's on... Okay, if it's not Three Buck Theater... Oh, Blu-ray Therapy. That's the one. I, okay, I, I'm a fucking idiot. All right, that's probably the one to be on. Now, the last one he did was five months ago, talking about how neato uh, Brightburn, the uh, Blu-ray edition, was. God, how is Matt's channel doing? Let's go take a look. What are we, eight months past the point of when he destroyed himself? Let's uh, let's take a look at his channel and see how things are going for uh, uh, Matty Boy. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, 1.4. God, 800 views, 900 views, 2,000 views, 1,000 views. Of course, he puts out eight bajillion videos. Uh, here's the biggest one, 12,000 views. Uh, new guy meme, of course, why not? Uh, it looks like the average is 1,000 views. Uh, so, uh, out of 129,000 subscribers, he's averaging 1,000 views. So, less than 1% of his audience watches his content. Maybe it's time just to change. Just shut the channel down. Maybe, honestly, it's time just to walk away. And just call it call it a night, Matt. Call it a night and just, uh, just walk away from it. Uh, there's a video. This is coming from Legato Mati. There's a video where a preacher shows a show called Wonder Shows. And, yeah, I remember that. Uh, to his whole congregation with their theater equipment because he thought it was actually a kid's show and not a parody one. Uh, the guy who uh, made a Xavier Renegade Angel and Shivering Truth was one of the core developers of Wonder Shows, and it's a fucked up show. Yeah, I know what you're talking... I know what the Wonder Shows is. I'm, I'm amazed somebody didn't give it a, a look-through before playing it for the congregation. Uh, what is this? Fart in the Wind suggestion from Drone Fury. Uh, oh, okay, what is this? But with OK Groomer versus the Uncle Bad Touch Hunter, do you feel that YouTube and other social media sites are a perfect feeding ground for sociopaths to get famous, make money, slay pussy? Also, what's up with the fuck betas becoming alpha assholes once they reach a level of fame? Boogie, Boulder King, etc. I don't know. Social media is built upon the idea of narcissism. It feeds your ego. It's ego masturbation. Or, uh, masturbation. You become some vainglorious bastard that's full of yourself because I, I, you have people... Uh, subscribe to your Instagram or they follow you on Facebook or uh, they watch your YouTube shit I couldn't tell you about the personality transformation uh, but it does seem to be something that happens a lot talk about Blade and Bjorn killing themselves yeah I, I wasn't just uh, uh, Blade uh, when Bjorn started I love that scene he turns over he rolls over after drinking all night and vomits up what looks like pitch black uh, or really dark purple blood and the dude filming it, you want to talk about how fucked up people are these days. Imagine that you're at a party. I, I think there's something wrong with the species altogether. I think humanity has gone past the point of no return. You're at a party, and a guy you know, you actually know him. It's not some fucking stranger. It's a dude you know. Uh, rolls over and vomits blood everywhere. 
so what would you do in that? What would a normal person, a decent human being, do in a situation like that? Well, you'd probably care for your friend, right? You'd call 911. Maybe you'd drive him to the hospital. You'd do something. What do the people do when Bjorn starts vomiting blood? He looks at the cell phone camera that he's filming this with, and he adjusts it so he gets everything in frame. <laughs> he wants to be able to film this guy puking blood up and potentially dying just to just to make sure he catches that epic gamer moment and maybe gets a few subs off of it. It's really... It's the, uh, what, it, there's a bystander effect where people won't act when they think other people will. There's got to be something, there's got to be an effect uh, that relates to this. I don't know what you'd call it. It reminds me of that old picture where it shows a guy filming an object and a girl filming an object. And the guy just shows the object, but the girl has to put herself in front of it. It's like that. It's that mentality. So his friend is vomiting blood up, and instead of helping him, the first thing he does is he adjusts the camera to make sure he's got it in focus. And then, he, and then he faces the camera to make sure they can see him. And the world is a fucking weird place. <laughs> Call 911 and then check his pockets for cash. Yeah, they're going to roll, motherfuckers. Ah, let's see, from uh, Bloodigen. Uh, Toad and Null covered a lot of the Boogie Meltdown saga, and Onision is the hottest topic. I'd say your spin would it be at least uh, would at least be a bit more interesting. I, I don't have a spin. Um, like I said, I'm aware of the Onision stuff and the Boogie stuff. Um, you know, I've seen it and I've heard other people talking about it, but I, I just it doesn't it doesn't do it for me. Uh, Crossface, your wife who talk about Yakuza. You're getting more into anime and manga, so finding out if you're into Yakuza, despite being a criminal organization, is treated like a normal business by Japanese. Must be interesting. Are you talking about, like, the Yakuza games? Uh, those are fucking great. I love the Yakuza games. And yes, I am getting more into anime and manga. Uh, I'm a fucking filthy weeb. I always have been. I've always made jokes about that. And I've always talked about that shit, so it shouldn't be too surprising. But it's much more relaxed. You sit down and lose yourself. Fuck. I, I've sat down and uh, read stuff where... It's like 96 chapters, and, you know, I sit down, I'm like, oh, I'll read chapter two, and the next thing I know, five hours has gone by. It's highly addictive. Uh, Big Woke, what, let's see, what did you want to talk about? Uh, do you think I'll be safe from the Awu flu in Wisconsin here because of the bitter cold? Well, I don't know. There was a case in Chicago, in Illinois. So, probably not. I think everybody's fucked in the Midwest at this point. I, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what any of us are going to do. Oh, what is this hot community? Remember those public access shows where they have callers and most of them are prank callers? There was a black guy named C.B. Walker who did free psychic energy readings on a Manhattan public access. The majority of his callers fuck with him, and his reactions are funny as fuck. This is really old stuff. I'm fairly certain I've seen it. And then we've got more Doyle Davidson. Has a video where he rebukes accusations of rape by witches and warlocks, even though nobody talks about it. Okay, is Legato Mati in chat? What is the name of the video, please? What is the name of the video where this guy in front of his church congregation is telling people he's not getting raped by witches? Who is Doyle Davidson? I want to go to his church. Are you telling me there's some crazy guy that talks about fucking people's wives and getting raped by witches? I need that. I, I know there's a delay in chat. I'll wait for it to catch up. I, I, I need to I need to see this video. I want to hear about uh, witch rape and getting ass fucked by warlocks. Uh, what is that, Kristrama? Uh, did you see Yanov assaulting a reporter and then pulling a warski? If you're talking about at the court date, was that in the elevator or was this a new event? I don't know. If it was new, I haven't seen it. Uh, if it was the one where they like pushed him out of the elevator and then uh, rang the fire alarm, I did see that one. Okay, that's the name? All right. Doyle Davidson abuses his concubine and ex-wife. <laughs> okay, we're watching this. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Wait, ex-wife number two? How many ex-wives does Doyle Davidson fucking have? You're not really acting. You're oh, this guy is just... Oh, this is this is what happens to... Okay, here we go. Here's Doyle Davidson, Water of Life Ministries, abuses his 
concubine, paid concubine, and ex-wife. You never knew me, but I was really active. No, you didn't. You've learned some things about me, but you didn't know how athletic this body has been. Amen. I know it has lots of speed to it, because I've tried to out... It has out, a lot of what? Out, it has a lot of speed like to that? it. Yes. We have tried to outrun, outjump, out squirm out of your way and have not been able to. Uh, why were you trying to squirm away from me? <laughs> what? Come on, tell the truth. <laughs> tell it. I don't know. What time are we talking about? <laughs> Look, don't you mess with me, woman. <laughs> why was you trying to squirm away from me? Oh, who knows? Oh, there was... oh come on. I wasn't trying to rape you. <laughs> oh, energy in that room changed a little bit. Oh, the energy in that room changed real quick. Is this real, Legato Mati? Is this a real thing, or is this like a is this is this like eight li or layers of irony, humor, public access, joke, comedy shit, or is this guy the real deal? Because why well, he got very angry at the accusation she was squirming away from him, and then suddenly we're talking about rape. Away from me. Oh, who knows? Oh, there was. Oh, come on! I wasn't trying to rape you. No. All right, make it play, cause the witches and the wizards oh. think that's what I am. I see what you're well, saying. Well, I'm not. No. Never have been. All right? You were trying to run away from God, and I wouldn't let you run. Right? Right. Holy fuck. Uh, I love uh, domestic abuse ministries. That's what I'm calling it from now on. Doyle Davidson's domestic abuse ministries, where you have the most... <laughs> you have the most uncomfortable shit. All right, we're watching some of this. What is this one? Oh, is it he starts screaming at the congregation? Yes, please. I got your email. And you shouldn't have sent it. When you did... You challenge God, and only a fool would challenge God. You hear me? Don't send me another one. And I don't know why you showed up at the wrong place. God. Are these people held hostage? This has to be a comedy thing. Like, everybody's frozen in terror. Like, this can't be real. <laughs> this cannot be real. They're like, nobody, they're not even turning around to watch this happen. They're like, just keep your eyes forward. Look at this mother whispering in her daughter's ears, telling her, don't look back. Don't make eye contact. Just be quiet. Praise God. We'll get out of here alive. God said that to you. Hear me? But you will find out. And you won't be so damn cocky. Hear me? I'm sure you know everything, don't you? Well, you act like you would have never said, I don't know. What did you mean by that? I don't know. Because God said it to you. You showed up at the wrong place. Do you want me to help you? You shouldn't have been here. You get out of my goddamn church. I'm going to rape you like them wizards do. I'm going to warlock rape you in this church. You showed up at the goddamn wrong place. This is a place of holy worship, motherfucker. Yeah. When you get to the wrong place, you know what that means? Do you? What? No! You're in the wrong place, fool. <laughs> Somebody in chat saying, can you imagine going to this service high? I want to. I want to get rip, roar, and drunk and go to this dude's ministry. I, I, what other amazing clips do we have? What is this one? 
Is this, I think we watched this one where he calls his wife a, a drunk slut. Let's take a look. Her name is Lisa. Are you ready for this? And Lisa's a slut. My wife is a slut. She loves dick. How would you like for God to give you a wife that's a slut? Well, I wouldn't be opposed. Lisa is a slut. My wife that God gave me. And you want to know who told me she was a slut? God told me she was a slut. I want to hear the prayer session that's going on with this dude. Dear God, please send me a wife. And then God responds, Hey, Doyle Davidson, you're my boy. And here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to send you a wife, and she is a massive fucking whore. I'm talking witch bitch tits. All right, our, this witch bitch is a thought, Doyle Davidson. She is going to want your dick 24-7. That's my gift to you. And all you got to do to keep that whore in line and enjoy plenty of witch sex with her is yell at your congregation at a drunken stupor every Sunday down in Dallas. How would you like to have a wife? Take her to your party, uh, your company party, with all your damn lying. Executive. Uh, this is my wife, and she... <laughs> Somebody in chat, this is low text right now. Uh, you might be right. You might... Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let's... Uh, I'm now... I'm... Okay. Uh, you got me interested in Doyle Davidson. Let's let's see if we can find more. Oh. <laughs> There's one called Doyle Davidson abuses children at the ministry. Do you want to watch the child abuse one of Doyle Davidson? <laughs> what does he do to the kids? But I am the mouthpiece of God in this country. Okay, enough with the movie maker tax title. <laughs> going on I think that's Lisa the slut I think I think Lisa the slut is uh, uh, having an orgasm in the church right now Okay, I think here we go. Let's see what he does to the kids. Did that dude try to punch her? <laughs> Why did he try to punch her in the head? Do you see that? Look at that. Let's. We're gonna slow that down. Uh, oh, hold on. We're gonna go CSI on this chat. It's time to. It's time to take a close look. Twenty-five percent speed. Is it going to do it for us? All right, watch it. Holy Spirit's welling up inside of his fists right now. He's looking for a target. Oh, he spotted one. There's fucking Lisa the witch right in the back of the head. Right in the back of her noggin.
know what is going on at this place. All you hear are women screaming and children crying. What kind of fucking church is this? This kid is so zoned. He's so zoned out right now. He doesn't. He's so confused. This guy looks like he's about to vomit. Okay, I'm going to say a little disappointing. I was expecting more entertainment from David Doyleson. Well, let's see if we can find... What the fuck is... Uh, I don't know, chat. You tell me. Uh, again, this is uh, members only. Would you like to watch the video entitled D Doyle Davidson, Water of Life Ministries, Heaven Has a Room Full of Sex Toys? I don't... I've never really thought about it. I remember going to church as a kid. I don't remember the minister ever saying, Hey... God's got a room full of dildos. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Maybe there's a passage somewhere in like John or something where they talk about uh, Sibians lined up on the clouds. But would you like to watch that one? Heaven has a room full of sex toys. Oh, uh, that's a yes. Okay, well, let's go with that one. But there... I heard a preacher thought he was somebody and talked about sex in the church. Well, there shouldn't be any. Oh, it looks like Legato Mati. How many of these videos is in chat saying it's a slow video? How many of these videos have you watched, and what are the what are the good ones? What are the extra crazy Doyle Davidson videos? If that's a, it's a nine minute video, so maybe it is a slow one. Uh, let's see, yelling at people. Uh, is this real? Did they actually prank call him? Hey, do you hear that? Hello. Do you hear that? Do I hear what? Do you hear that? Do I hear what? Do you hear that? Would you shut up, you little boy? No, I'm about to come. Well, you're nothing but a perverted fool. Oh, yeah. Talk more. Nothing but a little demon eyes. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm about to. Come on. I know. Say it There's again. Nothing, Say it again, please. Come on, I'm, I'm almost there. Come on, help me out. I said you're nothing but a demonized punk. Oh yeah, phone sex me, you old, you old pervert. Do you know what I said? Yeah. You little punk. Do it harder, you old pervert. <laughs> yeah, put me in my place. You little punk, you. Are you gonna hit me? Yeah. Oh I yeah. Oh, yeah. What if I, what if it didn't hurt? You were going to hit me really hard? Shut up, you little punk. Talk more about slapping my butt. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Oh, God, are there more prank calls? <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, holy shit. Oh, Doyle Davidson teaches about masturbation. Good follow-up. As, as a woman, the masturbator and men who are unlearned about a woman, uh, that's all they know, is they cause... A woman, they masturbate a woman with their hand, and it's powerful, <laughs> and the woman loves it, <laughs> because it's so strong. You say, what are you talking about? Oh, this guy is amazing. Doyle Davidson. Maybe we should do like a super stream dedicated to Doyle Davidson. I, 
Oh, is this even real? What is this? Why does he talk about sex so much? <laughs> Doyle Davidson out there talking about sex for uh, the the uh, the sins of blowjobs. I'll tell you what, Chad. I will put together a Doyle Davidson special. I'll probably have to watch through a lot of his stuff, which I'm looking forward to now. I got a This is fantastic. What a nutcase! I really hope it's real. I hope it's not some comedy bit from fucking uh. A local television or something. That would crush me. I hope it's completely real. Oh, that fucking prank call was glorious. That was just the best. Oh, what is it? Jimmy talks about sex because it's a cult. People are calling it uh, Judas Root, the, the Church of Coombe. Uh, you think there's probably enough clips? Just go live with it on a regular stream and start over. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll pour over his channel, and then I guess I'll look into his ministry and see if there are any, like, local news reports of people talking about him. If you have any amazing Doyle Davidson clips, uh, just, just direct them towards my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, and I'll add them to the compilation. Because I could, I could imagine spending a good hour watching uh, the good minister here talk about uh, masturbation and the spirit of blowjobs and witch rape. And these are all things that I want to hear when I go to church. Oh, what a nutcase. Oh, this guy is fucking Looney Tunes. I love it. I love when they're insane. Ah, okay, uh, from Degonsti Warlord. That was another suggestion. Uh, tell us what your deal is, dude. You have 300,000 subs on YouTube. Make some content that isn't weeb related. Black History Month is coming up. We was Kings 3. Uh, well, if you... Uh, part of the reason none of the videos are up on the channel anymore is they started getting taken down under the new Terms of Service. Uh, and one of those first videos getting taken down was the We Was Kings video. So any any uh, uh, decent videos, anything uh, We Was Kings related or otherwise, is going to go over on BitChute. I, I just, you can't put it on YouTube. YouTube's terms of service have changed. And you can't make funny jokes about certain things anymore. It's not allowed. It's prohibited to uh, do a We Was Kings video anymore. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Talk about Jake Paul and his Team 1000 scam. I don't even, I, I, I know about them. Uh, isn't it like brothers, the Paul brothers? Uh, I think the only thing I even know about them is the the suicide forest and when they rented some fucking house every one of their neighbors hated them and tried to get them kicked out because they were loud obnoxious assholes that's about all i know i don't know what the team 1000 scam is i, I guess i'd have to look into that a little bit more uh i don't think you like to do call-ins do a stream play with audience find a multiplayer game uh, maybe for the next members stream I, we'd have to find a game that you can get uh, i don't know how many people are we watching uh, in the members thing right now. Let me see. Can we find a game with 188 people in multiplayer? I mean, we're going to be playing, what, Planet Side 2, if that's the case. You'd have to find something with enough people can get into it. I mean, I can't I can't 1v1 all of you in Mortal Kombat. You've seen my amazing skills at that game. I feel bad taking advantage of you with my expert uh, video skills. Oh, yeah, somebody brought up Kathy Zoo. Listen, I don't know what that chick's fucking deal is. All I know is she's been on Twitter for like three days now talking about eating bats. And she gets really mad if you bring up how weird that is. I'm just going to state outright, Kathy, that eating bats is fucking bizarre. It has nothing to do with being Chinese. It's just weird. <laughs> Stop defending eating bats. I don't know why you're doing it. You know, I, I think, uh, was it Zidane or somebody else had said she definitely ate bats. That's why she's defending it so much. And uh, I'd agree. I think Kathy Sue is eating bats, and she's very upset. You're making fun of her for it. That's the best I. Can, that's the best I can come up with. Uh, chat. What do these other fucking buttons do? 
Oh, let me give you all these little fucking things. That's about it. Okay, whatever. I don't know. All these buttons. I don't know what all these buttons do. All right. Well, that was the suggested list. Yeah, we'll do a David Doyle stream. I will definitely look into that and put something together. I think that'll be fun. I'll, I'll look for a multiplayer game we can get enough people in. Something that's cheap or preferably free so people don't have to buy a fucking copy of it. Uh, but that'll take a little while to look into. And don't eat bats, I guess. Somebody has to say that. I don't know why she'd be proactively telling people to eat bats or defending the practice of it. Seems a little fucking retarded. Ace of Spades is dead. If, unless you're talking about, like, the freeware version. Uh, we could do that. I mean, I, Ace of Spades is pretty great. Maybe we'll set that up. Chinese people eat all, or all sorts of weird shit. Uh, true, but bats are really weird. Uh, you can't pluck them like a chicken. And I don't know why you'd want to eat a furry rat that flies. Something is just wrong in that scenario. Uh, let's see, Will Ross. Seriously, it's not all Chinese people who do it. It's a subset of Chinese people who eat super weird shit, and multiple uh, times it spreads diseases. Chinese delica delicacy crew, gotta stop, lol. Uh, Roblox? Yeah, maybe we could do that. Seven Days to Die? I think I played that before. Um... There was some game where it's like a, it's a survival game, zombie shit. Obviously, you 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 know get resources and build bases. And if I remember right, it was me and Hack, and we built a base like under a lake. But we didn't, you know, we tried to expand it, and we took the pillars out in the center of the room, and then the whole fucking thing got flooded because all the water above us came down. Now, if that's, I don't know if that's still like that or not. You put like uh, spike traps and other shit. But that was the last day I played it. We we spent like a week building that fucking thing. And then it got flooded, and I, I just couldn't fucking be bothered with it. I can only use Xbone for gaming. My desktop is out of memory and old as hell, and my PS4 died. Ah, you'd be amazed at what games you can play on the internet. Uh, there's free shit that even a fucking toaster could play. I'll, I'll look around. And I'll find us a free game that we can play uh, for the next next month's stream. Bat soup is delicious, full of nutrients. Don't listen to the government. They just want it all for themselves. It is tasty, Corona. You're, you're, you are correct. They want that delicacy just for them. Oh, is there more updates? Somebody just mentioned Kobe again. Let's see if there's more updates on uh, world-famous hockey player Kobe Bryant. Okay, did TMZ update their thing? Yes, they did. Everyone on board dead, reporting by TMZ. Let's see if there's any more information. Oh, they have a picture of it. Oh, but it's from a distance. You can't really make anything out. Uh, Kobe was traveling with three other people in a private helicopter when it broke down. Fire broke out. Uh, no one on board survived. Five people are confirmed dead. Amongst them, Kobe Bryant. Uh, what kind of, they talk about the helicopter Sikorsky S-76. Uh, his wife and kids weren't with him. It was just him on his own. He was 41 years old. Really? <laughs> okay, hold on. I just want to show you. Are they being sarcastic? Why is TMZ... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Uh, if I can uh, not not do this I don't know why if you go to the TMZ article at the very bottom I don't know if they're just being cunts or what but at the very bottom of the TMZ article I swear to god it says this he was 41 years old rip <laughs> rip and pepperoni Kobe R.I.P. buddy I'm surprised I didn't follow that with an LOL R.I.P. LOL Kobe was 41 when he died Uh, somebody said, uh, Proto Man, he played for the Lakers. No, he didn't. He was on the Boston Bruins. Again, world-famous hockey player. Stanley Cup champion 18 times. Get your shit right. Can't believe you fuckers don't know about sports. Oh, oh, you know what? You're right. Is there a BBC Pigeon article about Kobe Bryant dying? If there is, we're reading it. Oh, 
Oh, please tell me there's a... Okay, hold on. Let me let me just find it. BBC Pigeon. They have to have an article about this. <laughs> oh, they do! Okay, chat, let's read Kobe Bryant uh, uh, news article. Breaking news article. Kobe Bryant dead. From uh, BBC Pigeon. Your number one source for news. All right, one, one moment while I get it queued up. Basketball legend Kobe Bryant done die for a er, helicopter crash, reports. Kobe Bryant D. Obongo basketball star way spent 20 year with the Los Angeles Lakers. Die on Sunday, U.S. Media Day report. Tori B. Say D. 41 year old die inside helicopter crash as I'm B. Day travel around one place way dem day call Calabasas. We go bring you more on this Tori as a we. <laughs> We gonna bring, we go bring you more on dis Tory as e we day get him. So stay tuned for breaking updates on the Kobe Bryant story from BBC Pigeon. <laughs> I I don't know why they have that as a thing. I don't know. I don't know why BBC Pigeon is a thing that exists, uh, but it's pretty great. It's pretty great, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's definitely, <laughs> it definitely has its appeal. All right, chat. Well, that is our that is our member stream for the Sunday the 26th. I usually do, I will do the member streams on the last weekend of every month. So the next one will be on... Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Saturday, the 29th of February. I will work on the Doyle Davidson stream and uh, find information. And then for the next member stream, I will try to find a free multiplayer game that can accommodate about 180 people. And we will uh, we will enjoy that. I hope you all have a, a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay away from the airport. Stay away from the malls and the grocery stores. If you see a Chinese person run, they're probably going to infect you with the disease. And uh, rip, rip, Kobe. Uh, he don don show us the way, uh, as BBC Pigeon told us. It's a tragic, tragic tale. Let's see what what song should we play us out on? Oh, you know what? I I got a song we can play us out on. Let's uh, let's see what do we got here? Let's 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 take us out with. Uh, a little MC Jarbo. A little MC Jarbo. But well, what are we going to do? Uh, should we listen to Fuck to Your Girl by MC Jarbo featuring Dame Pesos? Chat, would that be the way to uh, end this particular stream? I think so. I think that would be a good a good outro. Let's, uh, let's listen to MC Jarbo, Fuck to Your Girl featuring Tyrone and Dame Pesos. <laughs> Yo, this Tyrone. Aw, oh, baby, again? We just made love two hours ago. Ah, oh, damn, girl. Uh, uh, all right, all right, hold tight, girl. I'm on the way. I got no kicks on, straight up out the door Fresh ass fuck, smelling a million bucks Turning heads in my best clothes You see shawty, I'ma go jihad If I don't explode inside of a thick post Body tonight, tonight, I'm finna expose All of myself to a, do a trademark sex pose And have a down on my knees I seize our attention with these chocolate nuts But no red rose But I'm in the black, got my stacks, got my tracks Gonna lick you on your back Cause I'm a jacker with the sack Gonna slap you on your ass See the stamp with this hand print Go you can't fix it Pretty fucking mean sandwich mm. I don't know what your man did But he's a man bitch Girl, lock up the cats Let's go camping You know, get your tent You can bring the damn kids The thing in the first day Glimpse of what a man is When there isn't afraid of getting laid With a face looking like He just ate a gallon of mayonnaise Bitch made who don't get paid And won't leave his game in man cave for days 
do you copy? Girl, you know that you got lucky That dumb dummy you call a nummy So while he's not all over the Mandalorian I'll be manhandling his horror again in Oregon That's why she call me at night Ho, oh, hardly ever leave me alone though Damn bro, she's so naughty Cause she want me to come almost constantly She's so calm, hungry She want it all from me But I'ma take it to a whole nother level And work on your thighs and your toes and your navel I'm the first man, make you pour honey on the table If you're able, I make the cooch gush like a first man Tornado, so put on your halo Get down on your knees, give me worship the lay show But really all I wanna do is lay low Until your man come home So I can just open the door and say Mass, I just fucked your girl tonight Tonight, it came inside her Merry Christmas, Monday Mark is going to jail to get raped like him. 